Good morning and welcome to the Trinity Lutheran online worship experience today. It is a beautiful summer day, so we are out here in our backyard soaking up some of the sun. Hope that you're enjoying this great stretch of weather that we have right now. And we're so glad that you can tune in this morning or anytime during the week and uh, be part of this uh, worship experience. Uh, lots of, is continuing to happen around Trinity Lutheran. One of the big things that we want to alert you to and make sure you're invited to is on July 12th, we're going to have our first ever drive-in style worship. Yes! So it's uh, July Sunday, July 12th. We're going to gather at the parking lot. You're going to drive your car if you come, and you're going to stay in your car. And then we're going to broadcast the service out through your uh, car radio. It's going to be on 89.7 on the FM dial. And then we're going to have our service that day. It's a chance for us to, uh, you know, uh, see what it's like to gather together as a community and being outside and kind of having people in their cars should really eliminate some of the bigger risks and so we're really looking forward to that uh, we do encourage you if you have any uh, underlying conditions or if you're in that high risk group that you really consider whether it's right for you but we're going to give it a try and so uh, hope that you can join us for that service that day i like the slogan <clears throat> come as you are stay in your car <laughs> Come as you are, stay in your car. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Pastor Corey, you got some updates on the small group situation. Yeah, the response has been really good. Uh, the, the leaders are starting to build their groups, and it's super exciting. The one thing I have noticed, though, is I've talked to participants who are like, well, I don't know. What if they don't want me in their group? And I've talked to leaders who have said, like, well, what if they don't want to be in my group? So I just want to throw out there that the groups are open right now. We want you in them. And so if you're thinking about it, just take that step. I know it can be hard, but take that step to say, hey, I'd like to be in your group. When are you meeting? Because um, some of the leaders are really wait, waiting to fill out their group so they can schedule their, their meeting. So just step over that sort of barrier that I know it's real. but. If you want to join, just reach out to one of the leaders. They're excited. Or, or you can talk to Pastor Kari and she'll help with that facilitation process. Once mm -hmm. again, groups are meeting outside if they're meeting at people's homes in groups of 10 or less, mm -hmm. maintaining the six feet social distancing. A couple groups, I think, are still deciding to uh, use the Zoom platform and meeting online. And the food they're sharing, if they're sharing food, has been bring bring a bag lunch. So I guess that's not really sharing. But if they're going to eat together, they've been bringing a bag lunch so that there's less risk of um, contamination. So we're being as safe as we can and trying to connect with one another um, and support one another and pray together and kind of build up the body of Christ. So those small groups are really going to be one of those uh, strategies we're going to use to help people stay connected and uh, help bring people together uh, in Christ. So uh, be looking at that once again. Even if you're in a small group and you're not comfortable uh, coming to gather together, it's A-OK -okay to say, you know, for me that, that just isn't a comfortable spot to be. Uh, but we're going to give that a try, especially when we can use the outdoors right. during the summer months here uh, as a part of our strategy moving forward. And a few people who uh, didn't join their group but still wanted to connect with them, I gave them the discussion sheet and so they were still able to participate and they just kind of interacted at another time uh, through email or through social media. So there are ways you can still connect to the material and to the group even if you don't want to be in person. So the other reason we're outside is this summer we're going to try some different formats for these online services. And um, Pastor Kari and Faith Bartelt, who's been working with Pastor Kari this summer, 
And then Faith's also been helping with the music for our online services. Uh, put together kind of a Devo. I think it's going to Fortune Lake, if that's not... Fortune Lake uh, Lutheran Camp has been doing Monday devotions online. So on Facebook and on their YouTube channel, they post one every Monday. And so I will be doing two of them. The first one will be tomorrow. So we wanted to share that Devo with you in this service today. And it's really kind of a unique format. Uh, we haven't really done anything specifically for the younger kids. So this has them in mind. And we're going to give that a try. Hopefully the adults are going to enjoy it as well. Um, and just uh, some unique pieces with the songs and, and the devotion time as well. So that's going to kind of be the, the heart of our service today. Uh, as we begin today, let's start with a word of prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God, we thank you that we can just experience the just awesomeness of your creation, the beauty of summer, the warm weather, and, and just all the greenery and all of the, the blossoms that are going to start coming out. We thank you that we uh, have our church family that's still together and that we can take this time to be with one another um, in a special way, in a way that helps us focus on you, to hear your word, to pray, and uh, to give you glory and honor. Continue to be with us as we move forward in these days ahead. Give us strength in your presence and in your power. We pray it in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Anything you want to say before we kick off with the what you and Faith did? Well, I do want to give a shout out to Fortune Lake. Uh, this is a challenging time to be in Lutheran Outdoor Ministries, and so we lift them up in prayer too. And they're trying to be creative and doing camp like they've never done camp before. All right, so uh, let's take a look. And uh, there's some action songs today, so maybe you'll... <laughs> You'll get grooving in your own home. Hey everybody, my name is Faith and I'm here on my porch, which is so beautiful. And while I'm so sad that we can't be together today, I am really excited to sing a song. And so this song um, is called We Are The Church. And um, I think it's so important that we remember that even though we're not in person right now, and even though we're spread out in all of our different homes, we are still together as a church. And so this song talks about the church is not a building. The church is not a people. The church is not a place where we go to sleep. I don't know if any of you do that ever. But the church is the people. We are the church together. And so as we go into our Devo time, we're going to sing this song. And so first I'm going to talk you through some motions. So check this out and then I'll meet you back here. Hey everybody. So our first song, We Are the Church, is going to go like this. Our chorus is going to say... I am the church. You'll point to yourself. You are the church. Are you with anybody? Point to them. We are the church together. And then we're going to do one hand. All who follow Jesus. Other hand. All around the world. And then we're going to make like a fountain. Yes, we're the church together. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to start with that chorus, so we're going to use all those motions. And then we're going to talk about what the church really is. So here we go. I am the church, 
I am Pastor Kari. I serve at Trinity in Rhinelander. And in a couple of weeks, we would be having day camp. And so here I am at Kavok, which is where we come to run around outside and go down the trails. And um, we spend a lot of time here at our day camp. I was thinking, you know, we would have five counselors plus Kelly. And this is why. All right, so one year we were out here and a counselor and her helpers took the kids out on a walk and they went through a trail and it was great. And then they stopped by a bench and one of the campers was jumping on the bench, but out of this bench came all of these wasps and they went for the campers. And so these were particularly small campers and so the counselor picked up one and that had been stung and carried her. And then the helper picked up one that had been stung. And then another helper picked up one that had been stung. And they ran to where I was kind of at the central location. And I immediately checked for like bee allergies, although they were wasps. I don't even know if that's the same thing, but I had to check, no allergies. But if that counselor had been alone, that would have been a pretty tricky predicament that uh, she would have been in. And so we are so grateful to our helpers. I don't think they realize how essential they are. Well, I wanna lead a devotion today. And I've been thinking a little bit about um, this time uh, when, when COVID-19 was new and we kind of thought it would be a month or something. And um, I went ice fishing. And I wanna share this video with you that I took of myself back then. Check it out. Well, I'm social distancing. My family is out ice fishing and I thought I would join them because it's pretty nice out today. And I just realized I'm super terrified. I've really never done this before. <laughs> I think I've been ice fishing, but like, look at this. It's just like, no one's out here. It's all frozen. I think I've only been out once and I wasn't by myself. I don't know. There's nobody else here. It's freaking me out. I was terrified. I bet you all have walked on the ice before. Um, the cracking under my foot freaked me out. I was so freaked out. Well, I want to share with you um, from the story Bible, the story about a time when Mary was afraid. So it's the boy, the boy at the temple. Jesus is the boy. Every year, Jesus' family traveled from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival of Passover. Jesus loved going to the festival. He loved the crowds of people, he loved the noise and bustle of activity, and he loved spending time in the temple. Well, one year when Jesus was 12, I love that because it's like, yeah, I was 12. I remember what 12 was like. Jesus was 12 too. All right, anyway, one year when Jesus was 12, the festival the festival began like any other. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus enjoyed the sights, sounds, and activities of the festival together. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph, Joseph joined others from Nazareth for a long walk home. But when the group stopped to camp at the end of the first day, Mary and Joseph could not find Jesus anywhere. They couldn't find him. Where was he? Blah. That's every parent's worst nightmare, by the way. Everyone thought he had been walking with someone else in the group. Jesus, yelled his parents. Jesus, where are you? Mary and Joseph were frantic. They quickly walked back to, Je to Jerusalem looking for him. They searched the city high and low for three whole days, three whole days, until they found Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph were surprised at what they saw. Jesus was in the temple talking with teachers more than twice his age. He was just a boy, but he could walk, he could talk about God with a room full of grown-ups. The teachers in the temple were impressed with what Jesus knew. Mary and Joseph were proud, but they were still a bit angry with Jesus. Jesus, why weren't you with us? We have been looking all over for you. Mary and Joseph exclaimed, Jesus replied, why are you, why were you looking for me? Didn't you understand that I was in my father's house? Mary and Joseph 
didn't understand. But with that, they gathered their belongings and began the long walk back home. I want to tap in to the fear that Joseph and Mary had. The fear of their child being missing. I mean, there is nothing scarier than that. I love the part where Mary is screaming out, Jesus, Jesus, where are you? Because I totally resonate with that. I mean, when I try something new or when I'm afraid or when I'm walking on ice, apparently, it's pretty natural to be like, Jesus, where are you? Why, why can't I see you? Why aren't you with me? Um, I think I've called out that way so many times in my life. But here's the thing. I just came from a baptism. Little baby Summer, she's just a few months old, cutest, has a little blonde streak in the front of her hair. Uh, we gathered around the lake uh, with her at her grandparents' house. But the significance of that baptism is that it's a reminder to us that Jesus promises that he is always going to be with us. That that is something that can never be taken away. And whenever there's water involved in the Bible, it's a salvation story. And so we use water in baptism to remind us. God gives us water to remind us that he is going to be with us. He's going to save us. He's going to walk through all the stuff. Which is awesome. But also, we have this permission uh, like Mary, to go, where are you? Jesus, where did you go? Why does it feel like you're not here? And then his response is going to be, I'm where I always am. I'm with you. I'm where I should be. I'm with you. So this summer, I hope that you're running around outside. I hope you're tuning into worship and devotions online. I hope you're experiencing God's creation and God's presence. And I hope you remember that when you feel afraid or if you feel lost, that you can always call out, Jesus, where are you? And maybe then go wash your hands and remember that in water, God promises to be with us wherever we go, no matter what we go through in our life. I miss camp. I miss you. I wish we were together. I'm going to turn it over to Faith, who's going to lead us in another song. Hey, everybody. So as we think about Jesus and how he's always with us and the super cool thing about not having to be afraid of him around, we're going to finish today singing a song called What a Fellowship, What a Joy Divine. And the chorus talks about leaning on Jesus. So if you're afraid or if you're confused or you don't really know what's going on, the awesome thing is, is that we don't have to be afraid and we don't have to be confused alone because Jesus is always with us and he's always something that we can lean on. So um, check out this, this video of what we're going to do on our choruses this time and I'll meet you back here again. Where our chorus says, we're going to say this word called leaning, like you're leaning on Jesus. So if you have somebody next to you, you can lean on them or you can just pretend. I'm going to pretend because I don't have anybody around me right now and that's all right. So it's going to go leaning. You're gonna lean to one side and then leaning, lean to the other side as far as you can go. And then you're gonna give yourself a big hug, safe and secure from all alarms. And you're gonna spin in a circle, safe and secure from all alarms. And then we're gonna do lean again, leaning, other way, leaning. And then you're gonna go in the middle and go right on your hips, leaning on the everlasting arms and give yourself a big huge hug because Jesus is always giving you a big huge hug. Let's try it all together.
All right, let's uh, pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have an amazing week. Get out and enjoy this wonderful weather we're having. God bless, and we hope to see you again next Sunday. When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey! When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey! I am weak, but he is strong. By his strength we move along. When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey! Faster, right? When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey, when the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey, I am weak, but he is strong. By God's strength, we move along. When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey, faster! When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey, when the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey, I am weak, but he is strong. By God's strength, we move along. When the storm roars, when the storm roars, when the storm roars all around. Hey. Hey! Happy summer!